We deal with forensic reconstructions and forensic animations on the basis of an experiment or for research purposes. We give technical support for investigations or examinations with the same technology that we use in the fields that we're more used to, such as the digital processing of images in motion. We created the first virtual simulation admitted as evidence in support of technical expertise in a courtroom under the guidance of the consultant for the civil party Giancarlo Forti in 1994. It was in December 1994 before the court of Parma. Under the guidance of Professor Fabio Dossi in 1999, we built our first virtual reconstruction admitted in a courtroom of the visual capacity of a subject suffering from a deficit. It was 1999 at the court of Assisi in Navarra, and then in 2001 at the Court of Appeal in Turin, and then the Supreme Court. Since then, we have been developing supporting technologies for forensic analysis too improve the audio and video signals, reproduce virtual or actual scenes in 3D, identify tampering or alteration of digital media. Every type of recorded image that comes from video surveillance systems, amateur cameras, mobile phones, web platforms can be improved and made useful, if not essential, for comparisons or insights. The degree of improvement is affected by several factors, such as the technologies chosen and the method by which images are processed. Every investigation is an episode in itself and should be treated as such, integrating different software and technologies. In one case, for example, in order to make comparisons between images that were apparently unreadable, we isolated limited sections of the same sequences that presented the best features. On other occasions, we have faithfully reproduced episodes to be analysed, filming them and then comparing them with the results of digital images. There are then also virtual reconstructions or reconstructions in 3D. They are divided into simulations and three-dimensional representations. The simulation starts from an objective reconstruction, faithful in every way, and goes on to show what cannot be seen or viewed with traditional techniques. The representation, however, shows an event or a thesis so that it may be better understood. Both techniques do not solve anything on their own, but they show, deepen, and possibly even help to prove the conclusions of the experts, such as lawyers, prosecutors, investigators, doctors, engineers, surveyors, and technicians. It all starts with the construction of a 3D model of the site in question, which corresponds in all respects to the correlating reality. And then we proceed to build, in three dimensions, objects and subjects in the scene. Each element can then be moved, according to the information, in a binding way obtained from the documentary material. We can thus observe the scene from multiple points of view, such as those of the parties involved, witnesses or defendants. This method is particularly effective for activities such as assessment of the evidence and different versions of the defendants, kinematic analysis of accidents, road, air, sea, structural, analysis of dynamic and kinematic events, ballistic analysis, analysis of the medical practice, analysis of manufacturing defects, and analysis of accidents. One technique does not exclude the other. On the contrary, today you can get useful data to reconstruct events and dynamics or to identify persons and vehicles involved in an event from the videotaped images from security systems which are found both indoors, such as in banks or supermarkets, or outdoors, such as in parks or on the streets.